and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. <laughs> What's up, bitches? My name's Miss Fortunate, and it's October. It's October, guys. You know what October means? It's fall. And it also means it's Halloween season. It's time for the spookies and the scary skeletons. And oh my god, my lisp. Also, fun fact, this costume that I'm wearing right now, Halloween costume from like sixth grade maybe i don't know this was for a really long time ago i'm really surprised it fits just barely but it and surprisingly like the sleeves like these things keep falling down it's kind of annoying but since it is the halloween season it is upon us finally i've been waiting for too long i've been excited for halloween since last halloween since the no since the day before last halloween halloween is my favorite holiday i love it so much it is like what else was I even gonna say? I don't even remember what I was gonna say. So, for the first video of the Halloween season, for this channel actually, this channel has never been around for Halloween before, so this is a big deal, you guys. I'm going to be taking a Tim Burton quiz. It is, which Tim Burton character are you? Plus, I'm like so ready right now. I've got my candy corn, my glass of wine. I'm set. Okay. All right, pick a 90s film classic. Hook, Home Alone, Jurassic Park, Men in Black, Independence Day, Batman Forever, The Matrix, Toy Story, or Scream. I actually haven't seen a lot of these. Like, I think I've seen Hook. Yeah, I've seen Hook. Um, I haven't seen Batman, Independence Day, Men in Black. I, know, I think I've seen The Matrix just a really long time ago, so I don't really remember it. Man, I'm... Please don't burn me at the stake. <laughs> I'm gonna choose Jurassic Park because dinosaurs are amazing. Who's got your back? Zero, Dottie, the Mad Hatter, Bella Lugosi, Alfred, Katrina Van Tassel, Bone Jangles, Tom Jones, and the Oompa Loompas. Isn't Tom Jones like that one guy from Flushed Away? I'm gonna go with the Mad Hatter because I'm Alice, I'm insane. Choose an epic villain to throw down with. Jafar, Lord Voldemort, Darth Vader, Cruella de Vil, Hans Gruber, Freddy Krueger, Anton K whatever that is, K Kure, The Wicked Witch of the West, and Hannibal Lecter. Um, well, okay, so if I'm choosing a villain to throw down with, doesn't that mean fight? So I'd want to pick one that's kind of weak and I would win against. I don't know, because if it were just, like, any villain, I'd choose Voldemort, because magic, bitch. Plus, like, who wouldn't love that face? I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Cruella de Vil, though because she doesn't like dogs and she needs to get put down. <laughs> See what I did there? What's the most important life lesson to live by? Follow your dreams, live in the moment, love conquers all, forgive and forget, good things come to those who wait, time heals all wounds, what goes around comes around, we're all in this together, be careful what you wish for. All in this together. I don't know, because forgive and forget, I don't believe in that, like some things are just unforgivable, so. And you never really forget people who wrong you. I mean, not really. Um, I think I'm gonna go with what... No. It's kind of a tie between what goes around comes around and good things come to those who wait. Because, like, if, if you're looking for something, odds are you're not gonna find it. Like, I've noticed that. Like, if you're looking for something, you usually don't find it. And then whenever you stop, you, you find it. You know? That goes for, like... I don't know, like one time I was looking for my phone for like three days and then I stopped looking for it because I gave up and then I had a dream of where it was and then I found it. So, um, and what goes around comes around is just like karma and I believe in karma. I think that people will get their own taste of their own medicine, whatever, however that goes. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with good things come to those who wait because it's true, I mean it should. Uh, which stop-motion character is your kindred spirit? Coraline! Oh, I love Coraline. Oh god, I love that movie so much. Okay. Coraline, Miss Spider, Gumby, Wallace, Paranorman, Fantastic Mr. Fox. That is fucking creepy. Angel, Eggs, and Robot Chicken. Oh my god, Coraline. Coraline. Okay, I love that movie. I love that movie so much. Okay, let's get real. Coraline is the shit. What musical could you watch non-stop? The Lion King, Frozen, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, Hairspray, Rent, The Muppets, Hedwig and the Angry Itch, Moulin Rouge, 
and Aladdin. Um, I'm gonna go with The Lion King. I mean, I like Frozen. I mean, no matter what people say, like, I think it got a little crazy, but it's a good movie. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. I don't even know the words. I only know it in Spanish. Libre soy. Libre soy. I don't even know it in Spanish either. And Hairspray, I watched that so many times as a kid. I can't, I just can't handle it now. It's too much. Okay. Where could you see yourself settling down? Twin Peaks, Springfield, Cloud City, New New York, Hogsmeade, Erie, Indiana, Emerald City, Whoville, and the Shire. Definitely not Whoville because Christmas really isn't my thing. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, the Shire seems too more country-like. Um, I'm gonna go with Hogsmeade because, dude, like, Hogsmeade, it's Harry Potter, right? I think you have the right thing, right? I got Edward. I don't know who that is. You have an uncanny ability to get strangers to do your bidding and are highly motivated to meet your life goals. People might accuse you of having unrealistic visions of grandeur. But that's what sets you apart from the pack. You're determined to live your life your way, not by anyone else's playbook. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I don't really manipulate people, and I'm very much not motivated. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go back and redo this part, the important life lesson, and I'm gonna go with what goes around comes around. Can I change it? Oh, come on. Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna try this again. Okay, I got it. I got Edward Scissorhands! Oh, I love that movie so much! Edward is my precious little cinnamon ball. Cinnamon ball? Cinnamon roll! He is my precious cinnamon roll! Oh my god, I love him. Okay. You're a little shy at first, but people grow to love you once they get to know who you are. Know who you better. You have a kind heart and you're magically gifted when it comes to arts. You'll also break a heart or two, even if you don't intend to. I guess so. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. Um, yes, I am very shy. <laughs> I am the most awkward person, but I don't know. I feel like people will like me if they try and talk to me. I've got, like, a natural bitch face. Like, I went to, um... I went to a church camp once, and I had to stay with some strangers, and on the last day of camp, one of the strangers that I was staying with, um, she came up to me, and we were friends now, but she came to me and she was like, Dude, I just, I just gotta be real. <laughs> when I first met you, I thought you were gonna be a huge bitch. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, hun, okay. But, I don't know, I mean, look at this, like, I look like I'm gonna fucking murder someone, don't I? I don't know. I don't like it, but I promise I'm nice. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's very untrue. People always judge books by its cover. Even I do like it. It's a natural thing, okay? Yay, I love Edward Scissorhands! He's, okay, let's be real. He's like one of my favorite Tim Burton characters. Because like, he's so relatable. Like, he's so different from everyone else. And they all judge him for it, like, oh, he's a bad person because he has scissors for hands. Like, no, he is a little sweet person who just cuts hair and bushes and stuff. Like, that's so sweet! I, like, cry at the end of that movie every single time I watch it because it's like, that's not fair, you precious cinnamon roll! Anyway, that's, that's it for this quiz. I like that, that was fun. I like taking quizzes like that. It's, it's cool. Yeah, so... Anywho, my plan for October is gonna be really fun. Um, since Halloween is my favorite holiday, it's gonna be like, yeah. We're gonna play horror games, and I'm gonna put up some narrations and stuff that I'm gonna do either by myself or with Lynn, I have no idea. Um, I plan on every Thursday having a Halloween song cover, which... That'll be fun. You can hear my awful singing voice, but at least I tried, right? It'll be cool. And then, I don't know exactly what day it'll start, but around the Halloween time, maybe on... Uh, Halloween's on Monday this year, right? So, maybe starting the Tuesday before Halloween, I'll, I'll do my um, week-long upload spree for Halloween, because I'm gonna do that every time there's a 
big event going on, such as like Thanksgiving I'll probably do one, Christmas I'll do one, Halloween. I did one for uh, the end of summer, which wasn't really a celebration, but close enough. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and that'll be fun because Halloween bitches. <laughs> Plus I plan on like dressing up for all of the videos, or I'll try to. I don't really have very many costumes, but I'll attempt. Tell me down in the comments below what your favorite holiday is. Tell me what your favorite holiday is down in the description, and tell me why. I mean, if it's Halloween, why, why, Christmas, why? Why is your favorite holiday your favorite holiday? Thanks so much for watching. Whatever, man. Whatever. Peace out, bitches. Yeah. Halloween. Okay, so, what time is it? It is 7.44 p.m. And I just had... A near-death experience. <laughs> Basically, I have a video planned for uh, a couple weeks from now, and it is a song cover, which I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but it's gonna be pretty cool. But um, <laughs> so I had this song cover, and I went to import the audio files to Premiere, which is where I edit my videos, <laughs> and so I import it. And um, the picture is fine, the time frame is fine, it's uh, about three minutes long, everything is fine. Um, but on my preview page I hit play and I didn't hear anything. <laughs> so that was my first warning where it's like, what the fuck's going on? I don't understand, but okay. I went and I dragged my audio files into the sequence place where I put it all together, you know. And I still don't hear anything, like in the beginning, a um, minute maybe, but then kind of towards the middle and the end, I just, I hear something. And it's most definitely not my song. I... It sounded like really low and dark and deep, kind of like a weird satanic growl or voice or something. And... You know what, I'm here, you listen to this, I'm gonna put the audio thing right here, um, if you want to, like, skip through it, skip it, or whatever, go ahead, but this is what it sounded like. evil okay but then like I was like oh oh shit demons <laughs> I was like oh shit demons are coming they finally came to get me and I was like sweet baby Jesus I gotta tell Lynn so I took up my phone and I called her and I was like Lynn god damn it I called her and I said Lynn I'm gonna die she was like what and I was like I'm gonna die I'm being haunted Okay, she just texted me, that's okay. But she said, I said, I'm gonna die, and when I die, I need you to write a creepypasta about me. And she was like, oh, well, okay. I mean, what's going on? I told her what happened, she's like, bitch, you're gonna die. Real supportive, Lynn, real supportive. So, I explained that to her, and I was like, damn it, goodbye, I'll miss you. I hope you can find a good editor, even though no editor is better than me. And I hung up, okay. But I only went through about like three fourths of the video. No, I decided, you know what, if I'm gonna die, I at least want to have listened to the entire video. So I kept listening, and this is what I heard. <laughs> Okay, it got, it got worse. It got worse. It like, got all quiet for a little bit. And then it's like, freaking, 
scratchy sounded like Satan was calling to me and he was ready to steal my fucking soul and I was like oh shit <laughs> oh shit this is the end for me goodbye guys I'm out I had my holy water I had my Bible I was ready okay I was like supernatural has prepared me for this shit I'm ready for this and if I go down then this is the best way to go I think no I was actually like freaking the fuck out I called Lynn again and I was like Lynn it got worse and I let her listen to it and she's like bitch you're gonna die <laughs> thanks for the support I was like freaking out okay I thought like oh man there are demons in my room I was freaking out <laughs> It was like one of those things where it's like, um, those creepypastas where it's like the videos are all corrupted and stuff and they're haunted and they curse the people who listen to it and stuff. I was like, man, it is real life. It is real. Satan is real. It is time for me. Goodbye, world. It was nice knowing you. Wait, no, it's not. This world is going to shit. I was like flipping out. Okay, I like had... I had my Twitter up and I was like about to tweet out like goodbye guys. It was nice knowing you. Lynn is gonna write a creepy pasta about me. I was I was I was I was gone. I was gone, okay. But then I went out to show my brothers my my video and I was like guys, guys, I'm gonna die, guys and I showed them and one of my brothers said um that it sounded like something slowed down and that w that's weird okay it's not supposed to be slowed down because time frame like the song itself was three minutes okay and if it were slowed down then wouldn't it be like a longer time frame i mean it didn't make any sense um but i was like okay i guess i'll try it so i went back and i slowed it down by 900 <laughs> percent it was like a small like four second portion of the song that I was trying to import and it was just a really short section that was slowed down by 900% I don't know what happened I don't know how it happened but it happened and it scared the living shit out of me <laughs> so anyway I need to be editing this because this is going to be in tomorrow's video which is I guess today's video or whatever whenever you're watching this it it was the night whatever man whatever yeah that was my that was my horror story experience luckily i mean hopefully i'm not gonna die but i guess if i do then i'll have a creepypasta written about me so <sighs> that was scary okay well thanks for watching